Since Apple released its iOS 14 update at the start of 2021, iPhone users have been greeted with a pop-up that allows them to opt out of third-party app tracking. Now, since then, marketing agencies and e-com store owners have been losing their head and treating iOS 14 with unjustified hysteria. The real truth is there are many solutions to this problem and all the best advertisers use third-party pixels and tracking tools to fill in the gaps. Now, over the past few years, I've used pretty much all of them, spending up to $5,000 per month in some instances, but I'm not gonna lie. I've never really been happy with these solutions until I found one that actually works and it costs about the same as a new pair of trainers. Let me show you. Okay, so before I actually show you this tool, I think it's important that you understand how this Apple tracking block actually works. And it all started through the implementation of something called app tracking transparency. And it's all to do with a string of numbers known as the identifier for advertisers or IDFA. Now each iPhone that's shipped comes with its own identifier that provides advertisers with data on your interests. All apps, including Apple, shares your identifier with other apps and data brokers without your permission. However, with iOS 14, Apple allowed its users to take control of their data, allowing them to give permission on whether or not they wanted their identifier to be used. The thing is, iOS 14 only actually gives control of permissions, so apps like Facebook can still actually see your data, they just can't actually use it without breaching Apple's policies and risking being removed from the App Store. Now, if Facebook can still see this data, then so can third-party apps. They just can't use it inside of the Apple ecosystem, but outside of that, they can do what they want. Some of these tools use their own in-house pixel, others use UTM parameters, and others just use IP address data. But what we've been using uses all three and much, much more. So allow me to introduce you to Triple Whale. The best solution in our experience to ad tracking and reporting, and not just for Facebook, but for all major advertising platforms. Right now, the solution is only for Shopify stores, but the team at Triple Well move seriously quick and will be expanding cross-platform very soon. In fact, by the time you watch this video, that may already be the case. So let me show you the back end of one of our live client accounts from the Affluent Agency, and I'll run you through how Triple Whale works. Let's go. Okay, so to gain access to Triple Whale, all you need to do is click the link in the description. We'll be taken through to their landing page. Once you are, hit the sign up button, and you're gonna go through a very simple onboarding sheet, okay? So choose whether you're an agency or a single store, of course. If you're an agency with multiple clients, you will need an agency account so you can get all of your clients listed and set up on the platform. Now go through all the onboarding questions and when you get asked if you have a coupon code, enter the code JORDAN15 for 15% off absolutely all of Triple Whale's packages. Trust me, these guys are more competitively priced than any tracking software or reporting software I have used to date. Okay, so once your account is created, you're gonna go through a very simple onboarding process. The team at Triple Whale are really helpful at helping to set up an account. It's very, very easy to follow the step by step. Once you have done that and you have your store or your first client store attached and integrated to Triple Well, you're going to be taken through to your dashboard where you can see a whole bunch of data. This is a live account from one of our clients at our agency, the Affluent Agency. If you don't know me, you've never watched my videos before, I own a marketing agency. We run ads multi-platform, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, okay? And uh, we advertise for e-commerce businesses. We spend around $100,000 per day on ads and we get some really, really juicy returns. This is January right now, and most people are complaining about results in the e-com world. We're still getting a 4.3 rise across platform for this client, and this is a two-week period. I think two weeks in January, generated 576 net profit. Uh, the turnover there, the actual revenue will be able to go down. Uh, the actual total revenue is 856,000 over that two-week period. Now, Triple Whale is way more than just an attribution and tracking tool for us because what it is now is our reporting system. So when we actually work with any clients, any business, we use or we create simple Loom videos, we screen record like what you're seeing right now with me and Circle, we screen record the Triple Whale dashboard and because all of the relevant data that we would possibly need to show them is summarized in a much more clean manner on Triple Whale. And because we advertise across multiple platforms, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, and so on and so forth, Triple Whale actually accumulate, accumulate that ROAS, okay? So it will add up 
all of the spend across all platforms and give you a combined ROAS figure, which is super, super useful if you're a multi-platform agency. Now, let's scroll through some of this data so you can see. So at the top of our screen, you can customize absolutely all of this, okay? You can add, uh, you add new tiles, you can reorder these tiles so it's relevant to you. Play around with this um, based on whatever information you wanna see for your clients or for your store. So we've got our net profit, we've got our combined ROAS here. Um, we have a total ad spend here as well. We've got percentages, increases and decreases too. I'm only gonna run through some of the most uh, relevant information. I would recommend playing around with this yourself, but there really is an absolute wealth of data on Triple Well. We've got all of our Shopify data pulled straight into the platform, summarized way better than Shopify do. So we've got our total sales, total orders, the refunds, again, $73 worth of refunds on 800,000 sales, it's pretty impressive. 61% um, new customers over that period, 39% repeat customers new customer revenue, returning customer revenue, and so on and so forth, even average order value. We're gonna dive into a little bit of this in more detail as well. We've got our lifetime value here, we've got 80, which isn't actually that great. We can definitely need to up that figure. We've got Facebook ad summarized. So we've got our um, conversion value from Facebook ads, and we have our uh, amount spent on Facebook ads. We've got a 2.56 ROAS during that two week period. This client's got a 1.8 ROAS break even. So they are very, very happy at this point. Cost per acquisition, 24. And this is all data that you can run through on a report to your clients or internally, if you're running an e-com store with other, other business owners. Um, Snapchat, okay, we spent 18,000 here, generated 73,000 back, 3.92 rise. This is what I'm saying to you guys. I, I put out a video, I, I don't wanna go off on a tangent about Snapchat ads a couple of days ago. I was talking about how profitable this is. We've got a 2.6 rise on Facebook. We've got a 3.9 on Snapchat, okay? If you wanna learn about Snapchat, go check out that video. TikTok, we didn't actually spend during this campaign. Then we've got Clavio. We've integrated a, a, a triple whale with Clavio, which is our email marketing tool. And we can see how much revenue we generated there, 153,000 and a whole bunch of other stats and so on and so forth. Okay, go around, play around with this. You can even create custom metrics at the bottom of the page based on whatever information you want to see. An absolutely amazing dashboard. Cannot beat this in my opinion. Now, where it gets really interesting and probably why you're watching this video is the pixel on the left-hand side here. So I'm gonna click pixel and attribution. And because we have integrated Triple Whale with Facebook through UTM parameters, and I would recommend you going through the onboarding process, Triple Whale will be able to take you through all of that. So I'm not gonna run through how to get it all set up and everything now, it's a waste of my time because Triple Whale will be able to do that much quicker than me. Um, it's actually just amazing how effective this is at tracking Facebook ads and actually just tracking way more reliable data than I'm getting on Facebook for our clients. So we actually just run our ads based on what is going on on Triple Well instead of what is going on on Facebook. We of course cross-reference things. Um, but what we notice is that what's showing on Triple Well is very different to what is actually showing on Facebook. In fact, I saw a tweet that AJ, their, uh, their CEO, tweeted a couple of days ago. Um, just, just showing the difference on how much Facebook misattributes sometimes versus third-party tools. In fact, let me see if I can throw that up to you guys right now. Hey everyone, I just wanted to share how magical uh, the Pixel is and what we've built in the last three months here at Triple Whale. So here's an account, obviously spending pretty nicely. Here's what Facebook says, and here's what Triple Whale's reporting. These differences are massive. They're massive because they mean either you can scale or you shouldn't scale. Right now, we don't always report higher than Facebook. We try to report the truth. It happens to me in this account, we're higher than Facebook, okay? And like, look at look at these differences, they're massive. And it's not like, okay, you might ask, why trust the triple pixel over what Facebook says? And the answer is because we can back it up. Like, you literally can click on the specific ad, see exactly who bought, which customers. If I click on this customer, I'm gonna see exactly the journey they took to get to that specific item and buy it. Um, from which ad and which UTM. Now, I'm not gonna click over here because it will reveal the store name, which I don't wanna do for privacy reasons. And th this happens in real time. If you sit here for a minute, you'll watch. As the order comes in in real time, we do attribution. Look at that, beautiful. It came in, we'll see if it gets attributed. I don't know if we'll get attributed to a specific channel. Maybe there was no UTM with it, but that's pretty amazing. Okay, you can drive in, drill into the campaigns, ads, it's and ads over here. You can even view all of your channels. So boom, look at that difference on TikTok. That is massive. I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of the team. If you don't have the Pixel yet, go get one. Go to Try Triple and get one. And there's so much more that we're building here. But this alone, this alone is just transformative. 
Okay, that's pretty mad, right? And then that customer actually tweeted the guys at Triple Whale and said how much the software had impacted their business. In fact, I'll throw up that screenshot now as well. Now I know and I'm conscious that I'm heavily promoting this platform right now, but believe me, I am not getting paid a single penny to create this video. I get a very small kickback for if you use that coupon code, but you get 15% off. But believe me, I would not get out of sleep for probably the amount of money I'm gonna be earning from that affiliate stuff. The real reason that I'm creating this video is because for the last 12 months, we've been trying to find a solution for tracking attribution and reporting at our agency, the Affluent Agency. Now we've found it, I wanna give it to you guys, okay? My priority is always delivering the best to you. You will notice that I very rarely, if not never, promote softwares on this channel, but when I do, it's because we use them and they are seriously kick-ass at what they do. Let's run back into this. So we've got the live campaigns. Uh, this is actually from the last seven days here. And if we actually click on any of these campaigns, we can look at the individual data. So if I click here, um, we can see the individual ad sets. And then we've got an ad here with 18 row ads. If I click on this, I can see the actual creative that we use there as well. Okay, so it's like a fully functioning ad platform, right? Replicated from Facebook. And then we've got, uh, we've got Facebook, we've got TikTok and Snapchat, so on and so forth. We can even look at this at all channel. If I scroll to, scroll to the bottom, we can look at channel overlap. So for example, let me go back up and I go all channels. We should be able to see the overlap from Snapchat and maybe even Clavio as well. So no, there we can see we only have eight customers or 13% overlap from Snapchat and Facebook, which is great. This is really useful information if we're running a multi-platform agency because we don't want to be attributing across platforms, especially if we are charging based on a percentage deal. We don't want to double charge for Facebook and double charge for um, Snapchat, which is why actually we now charge based on the data that's coming up on Triple Whale, the overall data. Uh, we then on the right hand side, they have live orders. Okay, I'm gonna have to blur out this information here. Dan, you're gonna have a, Dan, our content manager is gonna have a hard job blurring out lots of this confidential information, but we can see all our live orders coming in in real time and exactly what platform they are coming from. Right, that is the pixel side of things, right? Let's move on to something else. Let's go on to customer insights. You can see some of the data that we can actually read using Triple Whale. So LTV, 60 or 90 days, this is really useful. Okay, so here we can see the lifetime value of our customer, which is the amount of money someone will spend over their lifetime at our store based on a six month period, 30, uh, three months, 12 months, our 60 day LTV and also a 90 day LTV. We can also see that LTV based on the first product that someone actually buys. So if somebody buys this product up the top here, this is what on average their LTV will be across 60 and 90 days. Really useful information for any store trying to optimize their product range. Let's go on sales cycle. So here we can see the time between orders from our customers. So here we have an average of 65 days between the first and second order, but it's actually quite a long time. We can try and get that down. Uh, 43 days between second order and third order and 29 days between third order and fourth order. So what we can see with this business, which is great, that over time, the more times they buy with us, the frequency of their purchases over time actually increases dramatically. It's 65 days between the first order, the second order, 29 between the third and the fourth. Really, really useful data. We probably need to throw some more heavy hitting retargeting ads after that first order to new customers so we can narrow this down even more. Let's go on product journey. Now here we can see what product someone bought first of all, and then on average, which products they go and purchase afterwards based on their initial purchase. So we can see their entire journey of buying our products. Go check this out. Right, I'm going to move this over here for now. And uh, do you know what? I think we're pretty much good for customer insights. You could have a look at your average order value as well and all data surrounding that. Uh, but I want you to go around and play, uh, play with Triple Well yourself just so you can see how capable this tool is. One other thing I want to show you is UTM Builder. Now, if we want to track our ads effectively, we need to have UTMs installed correctly. And so uh, to make sure this is foolproof, we just can copy the UTM code straight from Triple Well and put it into our ads. We also have reports. This is really, really useful. If you've got your clients on Slack or you're communicating via Slack, or if your e-com business has a team and you communicate via Slack, you can connect your Slack. And then every day or every week or every month, whatever frequency you want to set this to, you can set the metrics you want to be sent automatically straight into Slack. Love that. Okay. Um, if we go under store and we go on products, let's say customers actually, uh, we can see all of our clients listed. This pulls in all the data from Shopify, exactly what you can see on Shopify. You'll be able to see the same on Triple Whale. And then finally, if you want to have a, a look at your individual advertising platforms, you can go on that through channels and you can see your campaigns and what your spends are over whatever period. So I think we are pretty much there. There's nothing I really want to show you 
Uh, apart from what I've already gone through right now, I want you to go around and play around with Triple Wear yourself. But believe me, if you are an e-com store owner, if you own an agency, let me go back to this camera then you need to get your attribution, attribution and tracking in check. As I said, we've spent upwards of $5,000 per month to try and get softwares like this working effectively. Triple Well for us has been the most effective at tracking accurately and it's got a dashboard which is very, very easy to use. It allows us to improve our client reporting. As an agency that advertises across platform, it's very important that we can combine all of our ROAS together because we charge people on average 10% of the return on ad spend we actually make for them. And so if we're trying to track that across platform manually, we'd have to go ahead and figure out the maths on Snapchat, figure out the maths on Facebook, figure out the maths on TikTok, and then add that all up to then send them over an invoice. With Triple Whale, we can have all of that information already figured out for us, so it makes it very easy for us to send over reports and send ultimately invoices so we can get paid more as a business. Now, if you want to continue learning and find out how we leverage the data on Triple Whale to sign up better, higher paying clients for our marketing agency and get them better results, then we've just added some more in-depth training on the Triple Whale platform inside of the Affluent Academy, our agency training program. So if you want to check that out, then click the link in the description now. Sweet. Right. If you want to sign up for Triple Whale, click the link in the description. Use the code Jordan15 for 15% off all of their packages. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions and you'd like me to go in more detail on pixels, UTMs, or maybe even how we actually send reports to our clients in the future, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't done already, enter our ongoing YouTube video competition where if you comment down below on a new upload within 24 hours, one person will be randomly selected to win a completely free hour-long coaching call with me where I'll build a roadmap with you and personally help you make your first or your next 10 thousand dollars online we'll figure out how we can get you to that point so drop a comment down below under this video if you haven't already smash the notification bell so you get notified every time we bring out new videos and i'll see you all very very soon cheers guys